for Saturday before Christmas. I've just woken up. I'm feeling really tired. I sleep very badly before I get a period. Um, I just always have done kind of sleep fine, but wake up feeling like I haven't slept, um, which is actually pretty much how I've lived my whole life until quite recently. So it's not fun when it goes back to that. But today we are going to have brunch on Kensington High Street with 11 members of my family. <laughs> and I'm, well, Nick and I are both super excited because our little nephew is going to be there. That's the whole reason for the brunch. My brother is bringing little Maxie, his little son, to meet um, kind of our like extended cousins and stuff. So I can't wait to see him. He's just a bundle of joy. And I've recently been using, we have a family photo sharing album. And recently I've been using that album when I'm like stressed out or really sad. Um, I just go and look at videos of him like squealing in the bath and it just melts my heart and makes me feel so much better. So thanks little Max. I'm just gonna do some yoga. I'm in my pajamas. Yeah, a bit of stretchy time now and then family. I'm just having a little toast and tea before we go because I think it's gonna be a long time so we eat and I'm really hungry. Um, and I feel really happy this morning. I think it's because, I was gonna say because it's Christmas coming up and we've got a bit of a break, but actually I don't think it is that because whilst I'm really, really excited to go back home to Kent and to my parents' house and just slow down and take it easy, I am a worrier. I like to panic about things and I like to stress about things. And one of those, the things that I stress about most is sleep, which obviously doesn't help me to get the best night's sleep when I'm going to bed worrying about it. But the reason I'm saying this is because, um, <clears throat> and I think it was in my very first Vlogmas video, uh, we had delivery of our brand new beds. So Nick and I have very different sleep schedules and um, him, he being a musician, often comes home really late at night and our sleep was just really, really disrupted, but more so mine because he can sleep through anything. Lucky man. Um, and we decided to invest, and it really was an investment, in um, to a Ziploc bed. So it's actually two single beds which you can zip together to make one ginormous bed but we don't have them zipped up and we actually have them as just two singles and we have single duvets and single sheets on each of the beds. And then we put, when we make the bed, we put like a really big white throw over the whole thing. So it looks like one bed and it's just revolutionized our sleeping. I can go to bed now at kind of half 10, 11. Um, and I, I'm not, I don't get woken up when he comes in. Sometimes it's like sort of 2 a.m. or whatever. Whereas before I would always wake up because when he got into our bed, it was quite springy and I would kind of bounce up and down. Um, so part of me is just like, oh no, I'm going home to my parents' house and we don't have our special bed, so am I gonna be okay? Uh, the answer is yes, I will be fine. Um, <laughs> worst things have happened, uh, but I am really looking forward to it. I popped into Dalesford yesterday and got a lovely organic panettone to take as a little gift uh, for my mum and dad. Mum actually texted me yesterday saying, on Christmas morning, will you be okay with like, you know, normal breakfast, should we just do porridge and stuff? Or should I get some croissants? And I was like, well, duh, <laughs> get the croissants. Um, but I've also got panettone, which I love. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Nice day for a cycle up to Notting Hill. That building's only gone up in like the last year or so. It's disgusting. It's not that cold, it's just in a leather jacket. Chucky? 
nothing. We just stopped off in Notting Hill on the way home to my favourite butchers, which is just there, it's called Provenance. Um, and it's all really good quality grass fed, uh, it's not pa packaged in plastic. And Nick just popped in to get a chicken carcass, which costs about a pound. And they still have so much meat left on that if you slow cook, boil them up in, in water, so like really slow cook them, it's the most tender, delicious chicken and you can add it to your soup and then use the bones for stock. Not particularly vegan, um, but then I am plant-based, I'm not vegan. Um, and I don't think I'll ever forego the nutritious benefits that bone broth gives you. So uh, yeah. Ah! Having an extremely strange lunch. So we've got Chinese cabbage, roasted sweet potato, baked beans and kale from the garden. I'm just trying to use up everything. And Nick's just gone for basically baked beans. Sweet potato. And sweet potato and cheese. <laughs> so it's about 5.30 now in the evening. I've got some soup on downstairs cooking. And this afternoon I've done a massive clear out of my wardrobe and I'm selling a lot of stuff on Depop. Um, basically had a massive rethink recently about fast fashion and I was never really much of a fast fashion buyer anyway. I always went for more kind of premium stuff. I like quality and the fact that it lasts but even when you're buying things from more kind of you know not Primark or Zara basically it still is not great. Uh, the environmental impact is terrible and the human impact, human cost is even worse. Um, I've watched a few documentaries really and recently and yeah I'm just trying to be much more conscious so I am getting rid of lots of stuff um, and from now on I will just hopefully be buying well I'm going to try my hardest buy just secondhand um, or from thrift stores that kind of thing. I actually think I might leave Vlogmas here. Um, it's been a good run. I have achieved my goal which is learning how to edit YouTube videos. I really do feel like there's obviously a lot more to learn and because you're uploading something every day there actually is never time to learn new editing skills and tricks if you have a full-time job like I do because I was kind of rushing through trying to edit a video in the evening um kind of after supper and you know already really tired etc etc I think one thing I've learned is that I say um a lot and etc etc a lot <laughs> Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the journey. Um, I think I will continue with YouTube in the new year, but I'm going to make my videos much more targeted. So I'll do um, less videos, but make them more useful. So um, like the one on how I healed my liver, I'll do other things to do with nutrition or I'll do a kind of what I eat in a day, uh, that sort of thing. Um, I've also got a sustainability challenge coming up with one of my good friends who you will have seen on this channel. Um, because both of us are really into that way of life and it's not something I've really documented on here that much yet um, but we are kind of challenging ourselves in January um, so yeah I think I might document that could be quite fun anyway I hope everyone has a wonderful wonderful Christmas um, and I'll talk to you all very soon